All right, so in this video, I wanted to do my top five sneakers in my collection that are orange for Halloween. I have lots of orange sneakers, obviously, because I'm an Oregon State alumni. Uh, so I figured what uh, better way to celebrate Halloween by showing you guys my favorite ones. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey, what is going on guys? Hats here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. Hopefully you guys uh, got to dress up and have fun and stay safe amongst everything else. Uh, any which way, I wanted to bring this video to you guys because I thought it would be somewhat fun. So if you guys like the video, please drop a like. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. What's your favorite Halloween sneakers or just orange or black pair of sneakers in your guys' collection or one that you guys admire? Let's go ahead and start off with the number five spot. Some of you guys might know I recently customized this pair of Electra Orange Air Jordan 1s. I basically just wanted it to look a little bit different and I like the results, a little bit of orange pop there uh, makes it look pretty nice, but that's not on my countdown, it's just out here for display. So number five spot is gonna go to some Oregon State love right here. This is actually a PE uh, that uh, didn't end up releasing, but it was given it to the football players, I believe, Oregon State. Uh, this is a, a Air Jordan 9, and then obviously you could see the O on the back and then the 23. Lots and lots of uh, collaborations with Jordan and Oregon Ducks, not so many with the Oregon State Beavers, which is a bummer because obviously uh, I wish that we had some more, but obviously Tinker has uh, some, uh, you know, affiliations with the Ducks. It makes more sense. I wish you'd show us some love though too. We're rivals, right? Any which way, I showed myself some love on this one right here because this is uh, the Electro Orange one. That is that the colorway? I can't remember the name. Anyway, it's a really nice colorway. I like the look of this one, but it was missing something. So I added the uh, Oregon State Beaver logo on the back here. And it, does it look like a PE or what? I mean, I actually really like the end results there. I found this logo in a box. Basically, I was working on a different custom and I never adhered the logos, but I did glue these ones down here. And then also I did cut out the mesh around the foam collars right here. A lot of people didn't really like this upper here because it has this weird material. It's not leather. It's kind of this weird plastic netting, but I cut it out here so it exposes the, the foam raw on each side. And most people won't even notice that that's done, but it's just a subtle detail and something a little bit different that I like to do. Uh, I did have to glue those on as well though, because those things would have ripped off. Uh, but that is the custom right here and both of these together equal that number five spot. Go Beavs. Moving on to the number four spot, we have a tangerine colored pair of sneakers right here. This is probably my favorite NMD uh, from Pharrell that he's created with Adidas, and mostly because it's the only colorway that I got from the original drop of the human race line. Uh, they had a whole bunch of different colors, obviously, but this is the one that I got. And this is the one that I wanted because it's the tangerine color, the black and the orange. But I really like this model, specifically this colorway it makes this one pop so much more. And I like that I have one of the OG ones that ended up releasing. I have quite a few other uh, human race ones, especially since uh, I'm on that lucky list of people that get random gift bags and stuff from Pharrell and, and um, I don't know, it's crazy to be even part of that. But this is the one that I got from the beginning that started off for myself and one that I love uh, in the collection. Number four spot. All right, so the number two spot goes to this one right here. Man, this is just one of those ones that it's, it's tragic in a sense because I only have one pair and I don't want to sound like a snob by saying I only have one pair of the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1s. But it's tragic because stupid me sold the other two pairs that I had, DS, in my collection. Ah, the regrets, man. I, I, I deeply, deeply regret selling them because I sold them for pretty cheap, too. I don't even think I made that much on them, like $400 or maybe $500 or something like that. Now they're worth, obviously, significantly more. And I thought maybe over the next handful of years after these, the quality would have gone up on most of the Jordans, but they haven't. Like, this is definitely a uh, really, really nice premium uh, leather material. Just the orange leather and the cream leather on this is just phenomenal. It's such a great shoe. Uh, but Shattered Backward Air Jordan 1s, absolutely love this colorway. Definitely the one that I was like, this one's made for me. It just makes me really sad that I got rid of the other pairs. It was just kind of like a, a mass purging. So I was just trying to, to do the right thing and get rid of the additional ones. And these ones I've worn quite a bit, but uh, man, it definitely stings because I really wish I had a pair of these on ice. Uh, and uh, massive regrets. But number three spot for myself because this colorway, one of the best uh, Air Jordan 1 colorways in my opinion. Surprised to see this one probably so low, but this is the number three spot, Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. Moving on to the number two spot, we have this guy right here, dude. This is one of my favorite uh, Air Maxes, probably of all time. Like this tiger colorway of the uh, Air Max Plus is just amazing. I really loved this model when it originally dropped. I still remember I went to Whistler in Canada and I found these in uh, like a Foot Locker or something like that up there. 
and I paid like the Canadian dollars for the blue pair of these, but I never got this colorway, the original orange one that I wanted. The blue one's definitely one of my favorites as well. I have it over there. Uh, but this one, there's something special about this one, man. And uh, so when these retro the other year, I was just all over it. I think I got two, maybe three pairs of these. It's just such an amazing looking shoe. From a distance, it looks really crazy. Up close, it even looks even crazier. The fact that you can have such radical details up close and then have it really far away and then have people stare at those and go, whoa, those are those are nuts. And now it's years and years later and I still get that feeling every time I see these. In fact, if you guys are interested, check the link in the description. I'll try to post the other colorway. I believe it's sitting in a full size run still. It's like the reverse version of these basically on Nike's website. Uh, and uh, I really like that one as well. But this one's the number two spot for me because uh, I do like the shattered backboards, don't get me wrong, but this one takes me back to a little bit more of a sentimental place uh, with the colorway and the fact that I didn't get it back in the day. And the last retro, I copped them and I'm, I'm happy about that. Since then, the prices on these have gone crazy, like three, $400 for some of these ones for this and the blue colorway. So sad because they had a blue and orange and a purple one. I skipped out on the purple one. I was like, nah, I don't, I don't need it, you know? And then now I'm totally regretting it, of course. Wish I got that purple one because I would have liked to complete that set because they came in a set, the box is all lined up. Any which way, number two spot, definitely really like this, this orange pair of sneakers. <laughs> So moving on to the number one spot on the countdown. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. We have a pair of Kobe 7s, and this is a pair that I don't actually know much history about because honestly, I didn't even know they made this colorway. It was actually a gift to me from a buddy over at Nike, and he's a Beaver fan as well. And shout out to him for hooking me up with this pair years ago. But this is a Kobe 7 in the orange blaze colorway. And uh, yeah, again, I don't know the, all the history. I believe this is a team colorway. Uh, but I don't know necessarily what the team was, which is terrible for me to even do a review and not know. I did a little research and it sounds like the TB stands for Team Bank, but honestly I don't know a lot of history behind it. The colorway is phenomenal though. The Kobe 7 is such a rad model. The snakeskin upper on here in orange is just super dope. But this colorway is something else and to get this as a gift is even more special. But obviously with Kobe now passing away, this is just one of those shoes that obviously there's no interest in ever selling. But this is the perfect Kobe model. That Kobe 7 was really great, but in the perfect colorway for myself, uh, the team colors of the Oregon State Beavers. So, but that is why this is the number one spot for my favorite orange sneakers that I have in my collection. There's a lot of other ones that I have, but these ones are primarily my favorite ones. As you can see on the bottom of my row, I do have quite a few more uh, orange sneakers as well as on my sidewall. But leave a comment on what your favorite Halloween or orange sneakers are. We'd love to see those. And thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, we'll see you guys back for some more videos soon. All right, peace, guys.